Okay, great. So thanks everyone. And uh, thanks also, Phil. It's great to be here on site. I'm actually in another room. Um, but uh, yeah, what I want to share with you um, today is the updates in the latest release we have made with ThinEdge, but also for the ones that are new to the project, I want to do a quick uh, overview, just one uh, short overview of what ThinEdge is about. So let's start with that. Right. So for the ones that are very new to the project and the community, I want to emphasize basically our main objectives and the vision behind ThinEdge. So with ThinEdge IO, uh, we want to make device enablement easy. And at the same time, uh, we do not want to create any ecosystem or platform blocking. That means that uh, with ThinEdge IO, we create an open and platform agnostic IoT Edge framework designed for um, lightweight or resource constraint devices um, so we can simplify the interoperability between um, the OT, the operational technology and the IT. So in the end, the idea is to make any thin edge device. That's how we classify those type of devices, PLC gateways, protocol gateways or any type of resource constraint device that you might have in an IoT use case to a deployment option for um, IoT services. And with thin edge, we follow uh, specific, uh, yeah, principles. We follow uh, some some key principles. The first one is the freedom of choice. So we don't want to restrict you on um, things like the the cloud platform or IT platform that you want to use, uh, but also we want to allow uh, users to write extensions and uh, components in any programming language. Uh, language uh, and therefore we uh, also, for example, leverage uh, MQTT. Um, uh, as an interface for that. Um, in terms of uh, device management, we focus on um, yeah, providing device management features that you might need in every IT use case. So that's really the focus of the project to give you uh, ready to use components for things like software management, firmware and configuration management. And you will see some practical examples uh, around that um, today. And uh, last but not least, uh, another key principle is that we want to be efficient on embedded devices. That means we don't want to introduce any uh, heavyweight components, but really be able to run in a lightweight manner next to other services like PLC runtimes, for example, or other logic that might be needed on those already very constrained devices, which are in most cases uh, single purpose devices. And within Edge, we can extend their functionality in an easy way. Um, we're not here alone, right? So ThinEdge is a collaborative project supported by various companies like IFM, Software AG, Kunbos, uh, Ineto, um, uh, and Brainboxes. Um, you have more partners coming up, and uh, we also focus on uh, closely collaborating them and winning new partners and contributors into our community. Now, um, if you want to know a little bit more and go deeper in the vision, why we're doing this, what motivates us, right? What are the key capabilities and the key problems and personas we are addressing with the framework? Uh, just recently, we published the first draft of our vision, uh, both are covering more the high level project side of things. But also we have uh, on GitHub, we have the uh, more the technology vision, so the technical aspects that guide us. Uh, both documents are drafts, so we are really uh, trying to get as much input as possible. So feel free to comment, review that, um, uh, so we can at one point also uh, harden it and, and make it uh, more or less final. Um, now to summarize, I think I talked about that, uh, those key principles, uh, um, and I will not go in there again. Uh, regarding partners, um, we also wanted to mention that we are very happy to welcome another partner in our open source ecosystem, uh, company um, um, Consult Red. Um, so Consult Red is an um, a new ThinEdge partner who provides uh, technology con uh, consulting services uh, helping clients to deliver connected devices and systems. So they are really focused on embedded systems, have a broad range of experience with embedded systems and development. We are very happy that they joined the ecosystem and we are look forward to contributions and, and examples and working together with Consult Red on the ThinEdge IO open source project. 
Now, um, I talked a little bit about the focus areas, the key functionalities, um, and you can yeah, read all of this on the website and the documentation. But just to summarize uh, the key points and functionalities that are available today. Um, so for the messaging, uh, I already mentioned uh, MQTT uh, interfaces that we offer to plug in different components and to very easily start IT projects and combine existing software on the device within edge capabilities. Uh, we have so-called uh, cloud mappers or IoT mappers for um, mostly focusing on Comlost IoT. We also have an Azure uh, mapper and a preview of an AWS mapper. And we also support uh, device authentication via uh, X509 certificates. And one of the key focus areas for ThinEdge is the device management aspect. So we are offering a monitoring framework based on Collect D. Uh, we offer an extensible software management agent with uh, plugins for different software artifact types. And uh, what we lately added is the configuration management aspect, and that uh, this is what I will talk about uh, later on. We also have examples coming from the community and partners. Uh, so today, for example, you will see uh, one uh, very interesting one, which is the uh, local user interface or management uh, user interface, um, which will come later. Now, what is new in 0.7 zero, uh, zero in the latest release uh, that we have um, uh, published a couple of uh, weeks ago? So first of all, the, the main focus was here the configuration management. So with uh, the configuration management, we are now allowed to configure the device the thin edge device or the device that thin edge is running on uh, remotely um, and you basically can manipulate any type of file based configuration from your iot platform uh, we focused here uh, also uh, on a reference uh, implementation with comlosti iot um, the other elements that we added is the log file management, so you can troubleshoot the device also remotely by analyzing any type of log that the, the device might consume. Uh, we added a daemon health check mechanism and the watchdog support, meaning uh, you can not only monitor the services, so the ThinEdge components itself, but other, other services and make sure that they are running, but you can, they can also be automatically restarted in case of, of uh, problems. And uh, last but not least, um, uh, another cumulosity specific extension that we added is the support for custom templates, so allowing easy extension of uh, custom logic uh, to ThinEdge, such as, for example, if you want to add custom operations to your device and integrate that with Cumulosity, you can do that as well. And to get all the details around the latest release, um, uh, Hans um, uh, from the ThinEdge team has published a, a new blog uh, on Medium, which you can find uh, if you scroll down on our website. And uh, if you want to get started, we invite you to explore. Uh, so visit our GitHub page, uh, start using ThinEdge, check out our documentation. There you will find the tutorials and most important information how to get started. Uh, so grab your Raspberry Pi and uh, go for it, no matter if you use Azure or Comolosti or any other IT platform, um, that's uh, where you can get started easily. Yeah, that's it from my side. And of course, as always, uh, the call out to uh, reach out to us uh, either on Discord or via email. We are always looking for new partners. We are also looking for feedback on a lot of topics that we will present today. We are always keen to consume the community feedback to derive uh, where we should go next and what uh, capabilities we should focus on. So thanks a lot and back to Phil.